of what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. And that gets things running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang, Peter. It's his pace that's his main attribute, especially over those first few yards, where he just seems to glide away from defenders, gets himself into great positions, and likes to hit it hard and nice and early. That's a horrible combination for any defence that's trying to deal with him. I can tell you that. Hard to disagree with that. And the shot! Oh, that is asking for trouble. And Aubameyang! Oh, that was no routine save. Aubameyang sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. And a goal kick. Now it's Aubameyang. Saka. Oh, sweet feet. Hits one! Oh, that is rather wayward. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. Bardsley. Hoists it forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And he's going long. Now it's Pepe. He get, has a pop! Just brushed off the ball there. Granit Xhaka. Tierney crosses it in low. Puts in a cross. Lokonga. Hector Behrin has come steaming up from the back for this. It's Pepe. Hector Bellerin gets up to head it. Oh, that's a fine save. Saka simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Wood looks to get on the end of this. Granit Xhaka. Odegaard. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Gets the chance to cross. Tierney gets it back. Loose ball, who's going to get that? And the whistle goes for half-time. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? 
Arsenal may probably be feeling a, a little aggrieved about not capitalising on such a bright start. Their mood at half-time should be more upbeat. The glass remains half full and it should spur them on. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. Aubameyang! It's in! Oh, the skipper has made such an important difference to put them in the lead again, but they can't afford to retreat and defend for the rest of this second half. To do that would invite trouble. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Arsenal take the lead, 1-0. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Done to play it forward. Odegaard. Now it's Jay Rodriguez. Now it's Brady. Going through. Brady. He's been taken down, and the referee has pointed at the spot. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. And he is going into that little black book. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. A formality! We're level! Oh, dispatched with certainty. Well, that's about as cheeky as it comes, by going right down the middle, it may have backfired, but it's worked for him this time. the equaliser and we're all square well there's resilience for you Peter as a side they never lost Pope goes for goal Pope gives chase time to deliver keeps everyone guessing crossed in goes for goal it's anyone's ball Played in with accuracy. Taylor. And it's got through. Lovely bit of skill. White battles to win it back. White did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Well, the crowd aren't happy. They wanted a shot. Saka! I think that's a corner. Yes, it is. Massive leap! It's in! And they get themselves in front! Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Arsenal go into the lead. White drives it forward. And he's shown him a... It's Pepe! Really well taken goal. Two 
to the good. They have breathing space. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Burnley are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. So the lead now is two. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. Rodriguez! And somehow he managed to miss it. It's a good display of fighting spirit for me. <laughs> Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And it's played forward. Dunn does well there. Alert. Bardsley tries to get it forward quickly. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Wood, chance to break. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Into a minimum of four minutes additional time. Xhaka tries to stroke it through. So here comes the substitution. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Goodmanson provides an outlet. Goodmanson. Chance! And there goes the final whistle. So they have their win, they had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the result followed inevitably. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Arsenal simply 